Created by a small team within Ubisoft's Reflection Studio, Grow Home was quietly launched last month with little notice or fanfare, but something about its little red robot stood out in the back of our minds. The game's title sums up your primary goal. As the quirky robot Bud, you're tasked with growing a beanstalk skyward to your mothership. In order to do so, you have to guide its stems to nutrient-rich islands in the sky, providing nourishment for the main stalk to climb ever higher to new lands above. Your main form of interaction involves using the triggers to grab objects, alternating left and right to climb. It takes effort to scale the environment, but not in a bad way, as the sense of struggle feels rewarding. The controls aren't as nightmarishly awkward as a game like Octodad either. Plus, Bud is capable of gripping any object his hands come into contact with, even if he's hanging from the ceiling. Similarly, riding a growing sprout feels like holding the reins of a bucking bronco, fighting against its powerful momentum to reach your target. Although in close quarters, sometimes it can be particularly tricky to get the plant to grow in the direction you want. With many sprouts to choose from, the shape your stalk forms is wildly variable. Often a sprout simply doesn't have enough strength to reach an island in one burst, requiring you to use additional sprouts from the stem you just grew to branch off and travel further. The more islands you explore, the more complex your stalk becomes, and it's a wonder to behold as you look downward upon your creation. Of course, altitude factors in as well, since at any point you can fall all the way back to the start, which makes for an impressive sense of scale. However, the game offers several ways to mitigate the frustration of failure. Flowers and leaves can be stored and used to slow your descent. Teleporters placed along the way allow you to quickly return to higher areas, and the larger islands that serve as benchmarks on your journey often provide plenty of space to land. If you're single-minded about your goal, you could complete Grow Home in a couple of hours, but the game fosters a quiet, open-ended sense of discovery. Perhaps a little too quiet, considering there's no music during gameplay. There are numerous islands to explore, and moving around a few suspicious boulders may reveal the entrance to an inviting cave. While seeing more of this charming and vibrant world is a reward in itself, there are also numerous crystals to collect, and as you gather more, Bud gains increasing use of his jetpack, making a world of difference in how you traverse the dizzying heights. Additionally, you're given the optional task of scanning in different plants and animals. With the physics-driven gameplay, figuring out how to get these items to a teleporter makes for the game's most difficult moments, which, to be fair, can be rather frustrating in a few instances. Perhaps one of the biggest surprises is the Grow Home only costs $8, which is a bargain for such an intriguing and inventive little game. Whether you're spending your time scrambling to out-of-reach grottos, enjoying the view from your glider, or harassing the sheep, Grow Home is well worth the climb.